country than going off course. So those are the two things that I wanted to say before. So we, on behalf of the private sector, at this convention, commit to implementation of high quality health systems as documented in the Kenya Quality of Care Manual and the Kenya Quality of Care Framework together with the Ministry of Health and other stakeholders. We look forward to strengthening the system. Thank you. As uh, Dr. Amit Thakar is signing, I wish to call upon the General Secretary of the Christian Health Association of Kenya, Dr. Samuel Mwenda, who has just come in, Karibu Daktari. Uh, Your Excellency, on behalf of the Christian Health Association of Kenya and the entire faith-based health network, we commit to the implementation of high-quality health systems as documented in the Kenya Quality of Care Manual and the Kenya Quality of Care Framework together with the Minister of Health. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And now it is my humble duty to welcome the Cabinet Secretary for the Ministry of Health, Honorable Mutahi Kagwe, to also make his commitment on behalf of the Ministry of Health and invite His Excellency. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. On behalf of the Ministry of Health, I commit to ensure that quality process are regulated and coordinated through policies that are continuously updated and reviewed. I also commit to build and enhance capacity of the implementers, that is, counties, faith-based and private sector, including all actors offering health services in order to deliver the highest quality of health services to all Kenyans. Thank you. Sir, kindly allow me to invite the group uh, director of AMREF, Dr. Gitahi, to make a few remarks in recognition of the support that they have given the Ministry of Health as we have done this. And as it comes, I also want to appreciate other key partners, including UNICEF, WHO, JICA, Farm Access, GIZ, UNFPA, among others who have made this possible. Karibu Daktari. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you. I'll make my commitment. Uh, stakeholders of the health sector, ladies and gentlemen, the President often calls me AMREF1, so today I want to rebrand myself to Doctari1. <laughs> um, special mention to our key partners, Express Communications Limited, represented by uh, Dr. Uh, Masara here. Allow me, Your Excellency, to recognize all the women who work in the health sector, including the First Lady for her work, because yesterday was International Women's Day, and the health sector is largely carried on the shoulders of women, female health workers. So thank you very much. Health is an economic activity, and healthy adults earn, and healthy children learn. Health is therefore the key foundation to Kenya's human capital and the driver of its economic development. And healthy adults vote too, and they participate in democracy. At the heart of delivering this foundation is your commitment to universal health coverage, and therefore your commitment to the government's commitment to UHC as one of the big four government agenda is the biggest signal to the commitment of Kenya's socioeconomic development, a healthy society for a prosperous society. But to deliver this promise, access to everyone, and especially those most left behind in our society is critical. But access itself is not enough. It is not enough for a woman to just access antenatal care, access a serial section, or a child to get access to immunization, or to get to pneumonia care if we do not achieve the desired outcomes. And there are many things that have been talked about access, and you must go beyond access to quality access so that you assure people of the desired outcome. But the question we're asking at this convention also, and in the declaration is, who defines quality? 
In many ways, we've tended to define quality from the supply side, from ourselves, and say, I am offering quality care. But quality care, Your Excellency, is also defined in the eyes of the users. Expecting mothers require compassionate care, hygienic health facilities, as they require skill delivery and commodities. The quality approach, therefore, must be used as looking at uh, the user as well. So as Kenya builds this multisectoral approach that you've just witnessed here to quality health services, it's going to build this attractiveness also to be a destination for medical tourism, which is also a subject for discussion at this conference, that when we build our own quality healthcare system for our people, then it also becomes attractive to our colleagues and our African citizens to come. Already we know about 10,000 people coming to Kenya to seek better quality health care. Our unit, as I'm a flying doctor, has transferred 200 patients last year into Kenyan hospitals from about six countries in Africa. So this is something that is already uh, being um, seen across the continent. This convention, Your Excellency, is about joint commitments and accountability to quality as a foundation for universal health coverage by all sector players. This convention is not about talk, but about walk. This convention is about how people-centered quality health services can deliver to every single Kenyan in Marsabit, Kajado, Nairobi, Kilifi, Therakanithi, and wherever they may be. And we are here because we believe it's possible. And your coming here is a show of commitment that you have, you, you have quality and universal health coverage in your heart for every Kenyan who lives here today and will be living here in the future. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. And now, sir, I invite the Cabinet Secretary to invite you, sir. Uh, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, I indeed want to say one or two things. But before I do so, we have a new spirit of cooperation between the national government and the county governments, here represented by the governor of Isiolo and also the chair of the health committee. I would like to take this opportunity to ask him to say a few words. Thank you, Waziri. Uh, Your Excellency, I would just like to state very clearly that we are very happy and we are very motivated by your leadership and especially the focus you have given health. I would like also to state very clearly that uh, uh, during the previous uh, leadership by uh, Waziri Sicily, we were able to work together very well. But right now, we are very, very happy that we have uh, Senator Kagwe, who we were in Senate together. We were in the cabinet uh, of uh, uh, President Kibaki together. And now we are establishing now a very good cooperation to make sure that your dream to have Kenya have universal health care is realized within this uh, term of yours. And that can only happen when we focus on the patient and Mwanainchi rather than all of us clinging on to this is county government, this is national government, but this is one government serving its people together, be it at the national or the county level. Thank you very much, Asante San. Your Excellency, it is my pleasure to join you in this first ever Kenya Healthcare Convention with the objective of recognizing the crucial role played by the health sectors in provision of health services of the highest and attainable standards. The reason we have gathered here, Your Excellency, is to discuss a very important theme of quality health care, to corroborate us with the health sector towards the realization of universal health coverage. Your Excellency, allow me to just deviate from normal because, you know, Your Excellency, when you're not a doctor, because there are so many doctors here, I am allowed to be foolish in medical, in the medical area. So let me just simplify, Your Excellency, the issues at hand, as far as I can see, as Minister for Health. First and foremost is that we need to look at this view very simply 
if indeed we are going to become the tourism, the health tourism sector in this region, why do people go elsewhere? First is the cost of health care. Your Excellency, the reason for, health, for the cost of health care is multifaceted. First is what uh, my colleague said, the cost of equipment. And here going forward, we would beseech banks to be sensitive to the fact that the equipment should be amortized over a much longer period than the three years that they would give, they would give an equipment purchaser. Secondly, Your Excellency, I have a small formula. And the small formula is cost of health care, may it be diagnosis, may it be equipment, may it be visit to the doctor, should be less than or equal to India. Less than or equal to India. Why would I come to Kenya if the cost is higher than India? So the formula that I see working for us is equal to or less than India. And then work backwards from there to say, how then do we make it at less than or equal to India? Secondly, Mr. President, is to heighten the doctor professionalism by restructuring the non-clinical, non-clinical soft skills training, promotion of patient-centered approach to patient care at a multidisciplinary group practice as opposed to individualistic treatment approach by specialists. Your Excellency, we are changing time. Technology will come to bear. It is possible for a doctor in Kenya to consult with a doctor in John Hopkins University by use of current technologies. And therefore, we are asking our doctors and our professionals in healthcare to also recognize this fact and work with them. Your Excellency, let me also say that uh, naysayers we will try and make it look like Kenya is so wanting and so bad in our healthcare structure. We are not. We are not that bad. We can do better. We will do better. We are going to do better. But we are not that bad. Let it not look like we are collapsing. Because when you see people from the region still coming for healthcare here, then uh, we, we are not as discouraged as one would want us to be. But we must stop certain practices, because professionally, Your Excellency, there are those creating challenges. Let me give a very good example. Beyond Zero, where the First Lady is really active and helping us, I am told that there are some places where a pregnant, a pregnant mother will go, deliver normally, and then the clinic will say, why are you going home so early? Because we can earn a little bit more money if you stick around a little bit. That is a fact. It is happening. So some of these practices is what we must also professionally deviate away from. It is not everybody. It's just one or two people. The majority of our doctors are extremely hardworking, extremely harassed by too many patients to a doctor. But we also appreciate that in every market, there will be a mad person. <laughs> Thirdly, Your Excellency, is the question of uh, ICT, and I can't re-emphasize more on the issue of uh, ICT. I am going to establish an ICT directorate at the Ministry of Health to leverage on ICT and fully automate the health sector, starting from Afia House, promote e-health, and create linkages locally and internationally between centers of medical excellence through telemedicine. Lastly, Your Excellency, I think for us to become what we want to become, we must carry out reorientation of all healthcare workers to allow the new thinking in patients' care through refresher courses, including family medicine, primary health care, senior management courses, and strategic leadership, among others. I am glad to say, Your Excellency, that in my engagements with um, health worker union leaders, they are all very happy and very willing to move into this new direction. And if we do this, we have no doubt that uh, we can succeed in what you have ordered us to do, and that is give health care to all workers. But not just health care, quality health care.
bila shaka hao ni baadhi wa washikadao hapo ambao wamekongamana katika kituo cha Sarit hapa jijini Nairobi wakizungumzia kusiana na jinsi ya kuboresha sekta ya afya. Kwingine kwa ni kwamba wakulima wa pamba kutoka eneo la Teso kaskazini wametia saini mkataba wa makubaliano na kiwanda cha Rivertex ambapo wanalenga kufufua kilimo cha pamba. Wakiongoza na mbunge wao Oku Kaunya walipoongoza kiwanda hicho cha Rivertex kwa kuweka mikakati kabambe ya kuboresha kilimo na soko la pamba. Tayari Rivertex sinaagiza asilimia tisini ya vifaa vya kusawazisha pamba kutoka nchi jirani. As be able to source raw material locally and that has been the main challenge because at the moment we are sourcing raw material 90% from outside which is also not going to the pocket of, of the mwananchi. Now we, we, have, we would like to work with the 22 counties uh, specifically to be able to grow cotton for us because we require over 60,000 bales by year to be able to run this factory effectively 365 days a year. And in order to do that, we have to develop partnerships, partnership with the counties that can grow cotton. Akika ni meona yale inatendeka katika hii machine ya Rivertex, ni kitu itakuja kutiinua katika Tesla North. Because tunaenda kulima hiyo pamba, tukileta hapa. Iyo ndiyo itatufanya tukue pia juu zaidi kama wa mama. The main purpose then is to enhance this collaboration. At the same time, we have come to be able to sign an MOU between Rivertex and the farmers of Teso North. And the farmers of Teso North are promising to go into cotton farming. We expect 10,000 farmers to start with, to start growing the cotton. And therefore, we will be part of that uh, sub-counties that will contribute a lot to the production of enough cotton which Rivertex want. Mtazamaji na sasa moja kwa moja ni kuregeshe hadi katika kituo cha Sarit ambapo Rais Uru Kenyata na zungumza kusena na kongamano la kwanza kwa ikushudiwa nchini kusena na umuhimu wa afya. Tueleke huko. The theme of promoting Kenya as a business and healthcare hub want to at this very early point note the leadership of AMREF Health Africa in partnership with the Ministry of Health Express Communications Limited I want to thank you because this convention that you have put together for the first time has brought together multiple players across the health sector to showcase leading medical technologies across the country and the presence of participants from the health industry, the public sector, as well as the private sector, the religious sector, I believe underscores the importance of strategic partnerships in providing quality health care. Kenya's healthcare industry has a long history of a deep and meaningful partnership between state and non-state actors. These relationships have extended the reach of essential quality health services to Kenyans, especially in hard to reach areas. And more recently, the government has partnered with the private sector to equip public hospitals across all 47 counties, availing access to specialized medical treatment that was previously inaccessible to many. Indeed, as has also been noted by previous speakers, healthy citizens are an integral part of building healthy and robust economies. The economic gains that Kenya has made over the past few years can only be sustained if our population is healthy and the health care costs are affordable. And it is for this reason that my administration has prioritized the attainment of universal health coverage as a strategic in intervention for our envisioned social economic transformation. We did launch the pilot in December of 2018 in four of our 47 counties. And from what we have seen over that period in those four counties, we have seen increased access of essential medicines and medical services to excess of 3.2 million Kenyans. The national rollout of the program to the remaining 43 counties and by extension to every Kenyan is on course 
or at least Mutahi, it better be. <laughs> I also commend the efforts made by our county governments, represented here by the chair, Governor Kuti, to improve access to quality health care within their respective jurisdictions. And I think the sustained commitment of resources towards health, averaging 30% of county budgets, has seen an increased recruitment of healthcare workers and availability of essential medicines and other medical commodities. Ladies and gentlemen, I recognize that we still have a very long way to go. Today, more than 10,000 Kenyans travel abroad annually in pursuit of medical treatment, spending at least 10 billion Kenya shillings. Cancer patients make up more than 50% of Kenyans going for medical treatment overseas. Indeed, across the continent, Africa spends approximately 380 billion shillings, or 3.8 billion US dollars, annually in search of health care overseas, predominantly India, Thailand, and the Middle East. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, which is a factor of your discussion over the next two days, I believe that Kenya is strategically positioned to serve as a medical tourism hub for our sub-region. Indeed, our own private hospitals have been attending to patients from Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, DR Congo, Tanzania, Ethiopia, South Sudan, Nigeria, and Kenya remains a pioneer, both by way of policy and by the advancement in medical technologies. And now, more than ever, I believe we must converge as stakeholders to see how we can improve the quality of our health care. Rais Uru Kenyata hapo wakitua hotuba yake.